Okay, 10 and 0. Stop, look, and listen to the pieces. Let's grab. It's a free gift. X ray through to the king. Ooh, you see, let's push this pawn so the knight can develop. Not in any rush. Let's bring the knight across so we can castle. And castle. Okay, they're moving speedily. Let's develop the knight. And shall we get the bishop out? So what have we got? Pawns coming down, attacking now, strong. Let's look into the port. Knight can't come in here because it'll get taken. Could take their knight off the board. Could put a check on their king with the bishop. Checks first. In certain circumstances. King's over. Knight does have space to come here. What's it doing? Tacking the pawn, making space for our queen. Queen looking to come here. Don't think that's going to happen though. The pawn's going to hit the bishop. Bishop comes back. Let's bring the knight here anyway with the idea, but we're going to have to move the bishop back before any of that happens. Oh, interesting times. So going here is not going to help anything. That was the original idea. So we're going to have to come here. Are we losing a piece? Can the bishop take? Pawn takes. Queen comes here with a check on the king. You know, I'm going to go for that. I'm going to take the pawn. They might not take it back. They might go, oops, we might have made a mistake and we're going to adjust. I'm going to put the check on the king. Where does it go? Either here or here. Can't get here because the knight is there. Is there any way we can get rid of that knight? We could challenge the knight with this knight here. But not forgetting that this pawn is actually on this knight. So it looks like we're going to have to move the knight anyway, which is a shame. We'll be attacking this pawn. Where does it go? King goes here. Yeah, so it does actually go there. We can take the pawn with a check on the king, so then at least we don't have to move the knight. So I'm going to take the pawn with a check on the king. There's nothing protecting the knight, so we can put a check on the king again and because the queen is actually on our queen. So I'm going to put a check on the king again. The bishop's got a nice diagonal here. But there's no real finish, is there? Oh, and they've resigned. Excellent. All right, let's go. 10 minutes zero. Let's just support the pawn. And, you know, I'm actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to stick with what we've been doing, preventing the fried liver. Get the knight up, attacking the pawn, but we're not going to take it because we're going to castle. Yep, let's castle. Can attack there, bishop. But I think we'll just take the pawn first. Then we can attack the bishop. It's probably going to come here because then if that does take, but we will take the pawn because they'll be looking for what they believe would be a kind of a battery. But in essence, really, it's usually better if the queen is in front. So they've actually taken. Okay, let's go here. I think the bishop's still going to do this. Get the bishop off the board, just move the knight across because we'll be attacking both pieces. I'm not interested in that. So we're going to attack the queen with the knight. Smaller piece attacking the higher piece. Queen's fairly happy. 
All right, so we've got one piece attacking. So if the knight takes, queen can take. Bishop can x rear through. Anything else? Queen will be attacking the b pawn. Okay, let them have the b pawn. Let's bring the bishop out. I think they'll still continue. They'll take. We can take. Bishop is supporting the knight. It's not interested in any of that. So, um, are they getting arty? Come on then, let's have a look. Just move the knight. Don't need to overthink it, really. Could have gone here, but opens up the pawn. Probably gives them a bit of an advantage with the queen. So, not much overthink. Just take this off the board. We don't need to be having any of those complications. Does take with the... See, his queen can take the pawn. We can get his bishop off the board with a bit of a check. So we'll just put that check in here. And do we take the bishop or do we just take the pawn? If we take the pawn, the queen is going to get a check on the king. It's not no great shakes, really. Is there, is there anything else? Any other attacks on their king? No, knight could take the pawn here. Beyond their queen. Gives them something to think about. Knight takes, knight takes, still on the queen and the bishop. But maybe the bishop takes, rook can take, the queen's not going to take. So I think that might be a nice touch, you know. Let's attack the queen, attacking the bishop. It seems like it's nice to talk. They've gone for the check anyway. All right, so let's just take. Queen's not going to be taking the rook. If it does, then... It's not much benefit. I've gone for a pawn. They've gone for a pawn. Knight can take here. Queen can take, but the rook can take. And we're still on their bishop. Got a bit of space in front of the king. Hmm, interesting. Take the knight. If we take the bishop, the rook gets into the game. Bring the knight here. Bishop, bishop attacking, bishop. Bishop attacking, queen up, queen here. I feel like there's something better than what we're planning to do, which is take the bishop off the board, because it's opening up their rook. Or do we simply just go for attacking the queen? I might be overthinking it and just keep it simple. So it looks like we're up material. It's a two on one here. So, bishop here, targeting. Protecting the pawn at the same time. And see if we can hope, see if we can get to the king. But I can't see a pattern per se. Rook here. Queen here. Don't think they'll allow that though. He's blocking that off already. Okay, right, so... This pawn protected by the queen at the minute. If the queen comes here, then he gets the rook. So do we just simply attack the queen? I'm going to simply attack the queen because we're getting a little bit too arty now. We have material up. Now we probably just need to look at... Him. Oh, what the days? They're not playing ball. Right. Can't move the rook. Is he going to get here and sting me? Let's see what we've got. Bishop can attack their rook. Can't move the queen because of this rook. Go here, see if we stop the queen going there. Oh my god, he's going to triple up. He's going to triple up. Okay, let's go here. I'm feeling that we can just do this. Then he goes there with the queen. Then we go here with the queen. Okay, let's do that. So his king's all jammed in. Is he going to do a sac? Oh, he could do a sacrifice, you know. Boom, boom, boom. And... Uh, do, 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 do. None of that, none of that. Queen here. P 
plenty of time. Queen here. As we said before, you don't want to go blasting them out of the water just because you're material up or you're in a better position. Because obviously they know how to play the game. We still could get caught short. So we have to look at the blind spots and see if we can block them off as best possible whilst incrementally trying to improve our position. I'm wanting this rook to get here, so potentially trying to get this pawn here and swing on to the queen. Queen does have a check on the king. Then probably get this pawn here. Hmm, maybe not then. Maybe get the king up first. All right, things to think about. All depends on what they do. Still feel some sort of bang. Nope. Could go for a queen exchange. We're happy with that. It's gone for a, I was going to say a mamby pamby pawn push. Small, small piece attacking a higher piece. Just takes it. Just push the pawn. Stick with the kind of original plan. Oh, I think I've fallen for the dirt, haven't I? I've fallen for the dirt. Let's hit the queen. Should have just done that in the first place. Now oh, he's got a triple whammy on me. I uh, could push the pawn up. It's attacking the pawn. I'm giving him stuff. Attack the queen. Then he comes shooting here. Or does he just take the pawn? Pressure on me. I'm going to hit the queen. Comes here. Hit the queen. Oh, do you know? So stupid. I could just put a check on him. Oh. <laughs> oh, so, oh, we've got it. Yeah, put the check on. Crikey, sick. And checkmate. Stopping, looking and listening to the pieces. Might sound a bit weird, but um, I've, I've mentioned it a few years back. Sometimes we just don't stop and look and listen to the actual pieces. What do they actually want to do? We're going to grab here. That's all pretty straightforward. So the knights move twice. I'm going to put a check on the king here. Get the bishop off the board. Oh, let's come back around again. Double the pawns up. So that looks fairly okay. So just nice, steady castle now then. It's attacking the rook. So let's try and manage the open file. It's attacking the pawn. We could push the pawn here. Sometimes I, keep, I feel like I fall foul of pushing the pawn. So I'm actually going to just support the pawn. And then potentially get the bishop out. Could attack this pawn, but the bishop is defending. So let's just bring the bishop out and attack the knight. So at this moment we can stop. Or we know that this pawn is going to be under attack. So simple defense. Don't need to do too much on that score. Now we're looking to try and manage the area with the strength of the pieces. So getting the rooks here seems more appropriate, doesn't it? And just simple potential ownership of the file with the rooks. <clears throat> if we take, then this bishop is going to be here. It's got a stronghold on that position. So I don't think that's going to be what we're going to be entertaining. If we come here, it opens up more pawns. Then we can bring the bishop here. The bishop's then managing this square. We could potentially attack their bishop. So let's go with that process. That's what the bishop is wanting us to do, I believe. To give it a bit of strength. But also, key thing, giving our king some company. One of the key things that we keep talking about is making sure our king is relatively safe. So is the rook going to come and challenge the, because the bishop will be on the rook? 
let's just continue with that motion because the bishop is on the rook so the rook has gone far into the corner so it's kind of out of the game so we could potentially attack their bishop and have a look at the situation because probably bringing their rook but then we can take the bishop off the board they take take okay let's bring the bishop through attacking it's also attacking the pawn as well if the bishop decides to move out of the way So it's not set in stone as yet, um, so the king is actually defending. So if we take, king takes, and the rooks can't come here because of the knight, but the knight can push, but the knight will then come into the centre and block. We can just take, no, let's take, with a check on the king. Alright, so push on to the knight, because we're trying to get here. We're thinking he's coming here. Yeah, so he's going to block off with the pawns. Okay, so this is a little bit of a situation. We can push onto the pawn because we're trying to get the rooks here, but he doesn't have to. He can drop. So he does drop. Now, what does that give for us? Let's give some space for the knight. I know our king feels fairly okay here. Are we thinking of bringing the knight around or shall we stay? Ooh, he's looking to take the knight off the board. Interesting. Let's push the pawns up. So we're in the end game now. So it's nice and steady away. They've got a passed pawn. So they'll be chomping at the bit to try and keep that managed. And just going to push this pawn. They may, I'm just going to say, may consider just taking that um, knight off the board now. So maybe they well, if they take, take. I don't have any issues with that. It's going to push onto this pawn here. Try and make some space around there, King. Does take. Let's go here. I've got the rook on the base at the minute. So are they looking to double up and come around the back? Trying to support this pawn coming down. If we do take, we're opening up in front of our king. The rook is all already protecting. So I'm just going to bring this rook double up. Move the king up. Move the king up, potentially supporting the pawns if we get time to push the king up. So this is one of those kind of dry end games, you know, that um, people are fearful. Ooh. So rook's going to come across here if we move the king further up. So we may as well just support with the rook. Because he's going to take, rook takes, then his rook comes round the back for the king. Then we just come here and then push the pawn up to support. So we come here when he comes across. Come here, then we can push the pawn because he'll be chasing this pawn here. So push the pawn up to support. Now does he leave his rook all the way up here doing nothing? He's got a pass pawn. We could tantalise a hit on here, but don't really want to give the pawn up like that. So, potentially have to stay here, protecting this pawn. So I'm just going to bring the king up. There might be strength in his king coming all the way down, doing a king dance, getting the pawn. He's probably looking to put checks on our king. Let's just hit the rook, see what he's wanting to do. He's going all the way around. I think the king's going to be doing the dance, sorry, down well to here. So I don't know if I'm going to get my king across because his rook will come around and do some damage to our pawn. And I can't squeeze. If I get my king up, up, push, he takes. It's offered a draw. I don't know if it's a draw, but I'll I'll take the draw. So definitely it's saying you've got time to move the rook across to h3. It's saying rook h2 check. Let's forget that one for now because my idea was I was thinking they were coming down here. Because the rook can go up and defend that pawn. That's what I'm thinking. So let's bring the king down. 
still showing us a draw so it's saying rook h7 but then they can just bring the rook up and defend oh it's actually saying put a check on the king but let's go for the human aspect and just bring the rook here protecting the pawn so it is showing a draw so is the idea to bring the king across to try and block off and protect whilst their king looks to come down okay so it's still showing draw at the minute then king comes across the idea i'm thinking is they're coming here then we come across and then they sink in here ready to take the pawn with a zugzwang king b2 but then the rook can come down and take this pawn but then we can take their pawn so that will be a bit of an issue so it's saying rook a3 which is what we just said to come down and get the pawn and then it's saying bring the rook back down to defend the pawn rather than take this pawn so that looks like that's a losing situation mm, right okay all right so we have to bring it down anyway to marry it up and then it's saying rook a8 just going backwards and forwards so we could go and get the pawn goes back there all right fine okay 10 and 0 so that that last game a little bit of learning in there which is good stop look and listen to the pieces and um probably listen a little bit more to the pieces and the position that we've got on the board sometimes it's really difficult though you know between one move of movement of the king it's it's really tricky but i like practicing those end game type things because it does actually help in you know playing the longer over the board games I'm not saying i play it perfect at all you've seen my games but it's, it gives a good idea smaller piece attacking a higher piece captures let's capture back so it's going for the flexibility of the knights can we disturb the knights we can still push on to this pawn even though we don't have a knight here because we've got a supporting pawn so we could fork it or just take We'd assume the knight takes because it's going to be keeping the queen on the board. Yeah. So our bad bishop, not interested. Let's attack their knight. Oh, let's stop there for a second. Don't need to be taken with the pawn. Could be taken with the queen. What's all that about? Well, it brings the pawns in line, I suppose, if we take with the queen here. options and choices for position <clears throat> so attacking the weak pawn here the queen is defending this area so we could look to are we fast enough to get this rook here rook here because he's going to be bringing his rook down or do we just simply go and attack the um, queen but then he gets the pawn are we best bringing this rook here supporting this before we think of doing that i think simple is as simple does isn't it So then this is happening to get this rook here attacking the pawn. So in any event, if we did go there, he's still got two pieces attacking. He's blocking off that attack, so we can attack here, double the pawns. But he's also made space for, as we said, the doubling on to this um, pawn here. So are we best bringing the rook up and then coming here? So it looks like we're going to lose out tempo wise yeah let's do that <clears throat> okay he's not actually interested in that he's actually giving his rook up he's probably going to resign now so we'll take and then take so we actually win the rook 
Oh, that was amazing. I think they moved a bit too quick there. Yeah, and they've resigned. Excellent. 